And um, I, the, the area under the curve of, of resources over that period of time should enable this time frame to be met. Um, but if not this time frame, I think pretty soon thereafter. Uh, but that's, that's, our, that's our goal, is to try to um, make the 2022 uh, Mars rendezvous. Um, um, the uh, Earth-Mars synchronization happens roughly every two years. So every two years, there's a, an opportunity for um, to, to fly to Mars. Uh, so then in 2024, uh, we want to try to fly four ships. Uh, two of which would be crewed, and two of which two, two cargo and, and two two crew. Um, the, the goal of 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 the uh, of these initial missions is to is to find the best source of water. That's for the first mission, and then the second mission, the goal is to build the the propellant plant. So we should, uh, with particularly with six ships, there uh, have plenty of landed mass to construct the propellant depot. Uh, which will consist of a large array of solar panels, very large array, um, and then everything necessary to mine and refine uh, water, and then draw the CO2 out of the atmosphere, uh, and then create and store uh, deep cryo CH4 and O2. Then build up the base, starting obviously with one, one ship, then multiple ships, then start building out the city, then making the city bigger, even bigger. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, and, and, and over time, terraforming Mars and making it uh, really a nice place to be. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Give me a But I think that's quite, quite a beautiful picture. Um, and on, on the prior slide, it's interesting to note that on, on Mars, dawn and dusk are blue. And um, it's the sky, so the sky is blue and dawn and dusk and, and red during the day. It's the opposite of Earth. And, um, but, there's, uh, but there's something else. Um, if, you, if you build a ship that's capable of going to Mars, well, what if you take that same ship and go from one place to another on Earth? So we, we looked at that, and the results are quite interesting. Let's take a look at that. Mountain. Um, so, so, yeah, so the, the, the great thing about going to space is there's no friction. So uh, once you're out of the atmosphere, you will go, it will be smooth as silk, no turbulence, nothing. There's no weather. There's no, there's no atmosphere. And uh, you can get to, to most long distance places, like I said, in less than half an hour. Um, and if we're building this thing to go to 
the moon and Mars, then why not go to other places on Earth as well? All right, thank you.